Vincent Matthew, do you take Riley McKenna here present for your lawful wife according to the right of our Holy Mother, the Church? I do. Riley McKenna, do you take Vincent Matthew here present for your lawful husband according to the right of our Holy Mother Church? I do. Congratulations. Thanks, Bob. Take her back. Take your wife back. Here. Swing this way. My dear friends in Christ, as you know, you're about to enter into a union which is most sacred and most serious, a union which was established by God himself, and by it he gave to man a share in the greatest work of creation, the work of the continuation of the human race. And in this way he sanctified human love and enabled man and woman to help each other to live as children of God by sharing a common life under his fatherly care. And because God himself is thus its author, marriage of its very nature is a holy institution, requiring of those who enter into it a complete and unreserved giving of self. But Christ our Lord added to the holiness of marriage an even greater meaning and a higher beauty. He referred to the love of marriage to describe his own love for his church, that is, the people of God, for whom he redeemed with his own blood. And so he gave to Christians a new vision of married life, a life of self-sacrificing love like his own. And it's for this reason that his holy apostle, St. Paul, clearly states that marriage is now and for all time to be considered a great mystery, intimately bound up with the supernatural union of Christ and his church, which union is also to be its pattern. This union then is most serious because it will bind you together for a life in a relationship so close and so intimate that it will profoundly influence your whole future. That future, with its hopes and disappointments, its successes and its failures, its pleasures and pains, its joys and sorrows. All this is hidden from your eyes at this moment, but you know that these elements are mingled in every life, and they're to be expected in your own. And so, not knowing what is before you, you take each other for better or for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death. time on, you will belong entirely to each other. You'll be one in mind, one in heart, and one in affections. And if true love and unselfish spirit of perfect sacrifice guide your every action, you can expect the greatest measure of earthly happiness that may be allotted to mankind in this veil of tears. And the rest, well, the rest is in the hands of God. Nor will God be wanting to your needs. He will pledge you the lifelong support of his graces in the holy sacrament which you are about to give to each other.
Yeah. What, a, what an amazing mass. Oh yeah. yeah. Solid. Yep. Solid. Piper really set it off. Oh yeah. Take care of my best oh, friend. Awesome. I will. <laughs> <laughs>